Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall was born on April 3, 1934, in London, England. She was always curious about animals, especially chimpanzees, from a very young age. When she grew up, she decided to study them in their natural habitat. After finishing school, Jane saved money from working as a secretary and traveled to Africa when she was 23 years old. She first went to Kenya where she met the famous paleontologist Louis Leakey. In 1960, at the age of 26, Jane traveled to Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania, Africa to study chimpanzees. She was the first person to ever do this kind of research. She observed chimpanzees closely, learning about their behaviors and social interactions. This was the beginning of her groundbreaking research. One of Jane's most significant discoveries was that chimpanzees use tools, something previously believed to be unique to humans. She observed them using sticks to fish for termites to eat, which was groundbreaking at the time. Jane spent many years living among the chimpanzees, becoming very close to them. She gave each one a name instead of just assigning them numbers, which was a new approach to scientific research. In 1964, Jane became the eighth person in history to be allowed to study for a PhD without having a bachelor's degree. She earned her PhD from Cambridge University in 1964 for her research on chimpanzees. Her work brought attention to the importance of conservation and protecting endangered species like chimpanzees. She founded the Jane Goodall Institute to continue her research and conservation efforts in 1977. By 1986, Jane was appointed as a United Nations Messenger of Peace. This role allowed her to travel the world speaking out about environmental issues and the importance of protecting animals. Jane wrote a book called Reason for Hope in 1991 where she shared her experiences and beliefs about the future of the planet and the importance of hope in making positive changes. Jane started the Roots and Shoots program in 2002 which encourages young people to get involved in environmental and humanitarian projects in their communities. It has since become a global youth-led program. Even in her later years, Jane continues to be an advocate for animals and the environment. She travels around the world, speaking at events and inspiring people of all ages to take action to protect our planet. Today, Jane Goodall is considered one of the world's foremost experts on chimpanzees and an advocate for animal welfare and environmental conservation. Throughout her career, Jane Goodall faced many challenges. In the very beginning, she faced scrutiny from the academic community because at the time she did not have a formal education. She faced gender discrimination as she was working in a predominantly male-dominated field of science. Additionally, there were financial constraints she had to overcome in order to conduct her research. Moreover, she had to contend with physical risks, isolation while living alone in remote areas, as well as other environmental threats. Despite these challenges, Jane Goodall persevered in her work, becoming one of the most respected scientists and conservationists of our time. Her dedication and passion for protecting wildlife and the environment continue to inspire people around the world. Jane Goodall's commitment to education and public outreach has made her a pioneer in science communication. Through her books, lectures, and documentaries, she has engaged millions of people worldwide, inspiring them to care about nature and take action to protect the planet. Additionally, thanks to her hard work and dedication, she has become a role model for women in science, breaking barriers for future generations of 
female scientists. Jane's story teaches us that with curiosity, dedication, and hard work, we can make amazing discoveries and help make the world a better place for animals and humans alike. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.